R equals 2A plus B by summing horizontal and vertical components using a spreadsheet. We have A, which is 10 degrees at 0 degree, 10 units long and at 0 degrees, and B at 15 units long at 60 degrees. First thing we want to do is we want to set up our A and B components. And we, since these things are in polar coordinates, they have a magnitude and a angle. And that angle is measured this time in degrees. So again, I'm just setting up what I'm looking for. Now what I want to do is I want to make a space between X and Y. So basically I want to change my components from my magnitude of the angle polar coordinates into x and y degrees. So I have 10 as a magnitude of a, 0 degrees, and that's just, um, then I have b, uh, which is 15 degrees, and I have an angle of 60 degrees. So one thing is, I want to say to my x, which is going to be equal to b, in my case, b5, I'm going to multiply that times and x would be the cosine of that number. But instead of having a direct sign to over here to angle, we need to change from that from degrees to radians. So in the spreadsheet, it does a good job of um, a function called radians that, transfer, that transforms the degrees into the radians. So then what I can do is I can type in C5, since that's where the angle is. Close my parentheses and that's it. That makes sense because now I have it's 10 and 0 degrees meaning I have nothing in the y. So y should be equal to uh, b5 or the 10 magnitude times the cosine and then again radians and that's in c5 and that should be equal to 10 and I screwed up. Uh, this should be the sine, which is good. Now what I can do, since I know I have 10, 10x, instead of doing over the sine, I'm going to highlight both the x and the y. I'm going to control C, and I'm going to control V as copy and paste. Now here what I want to do is I want to have my R in the A7 degrees, and basically what I want to do is I'm going to equal 2 times a, which is there, plus B, which is there. So that is my X direction. Again, what I can do is I can control C, control V, which will copy and paste it. Now I have my X and Y direction of my R. Say I want them to be in the magnitude and angle or the polar coordinates. What I can do is I can take Pythagorean theorem and I can SQRT, which takes the square root of the x, raise it to the 2, which squares that, plus y, raise that to the 2, and close my parentheses, and I get a magnitude of 30.41. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take, and now if I want to find my angle, I know my magnitude, I want to find my angle, and I want to say that the a tangent, and that's some number I can call it an a tan or a tan two. We'll go a tan two. The first one asks for the x direction, and the second func the second part, uh, passing the parameter, is looking for the y. Close parentheses, and that would give it to us in radians. But we want, and we recognize that it is in degrees, which is what we want. Close that, and that's in a 25.28 degrees and again these are all uh, not in significant digits these are all expanded and if you wanted to do significant digits you can do that as well. Well that's how it concludes and that's how we can uh, take the addition of two vectors and multiplied by the first by two.